this is the basic gameplay. As you see here, I got some friends, some fellow Tenno. I think that my friend is a rhino. Is no, it's not a rhino. Oh, yep, it is a rhino. Over here is another rhino. Oh God. You see, this game is very fast-paced. Oh wow! Looks like it's just a plain old exterminate. And you see, it's a co-op, so there are some PVP elements, but you don't really get much out of them. Don't know what that's from. Is that Mirage? Yep, that's Mirage. I guess that's our ability to show off what current containers are breakable. Here comes the ninja element. Oh yeah. Tenno always love vents. Always know that. Let's we'll show off how the bow works. Sorry I couldn't get much gameplay for you guys for you guys, but yeah. <laughs> Shortest mission, easiest reward ever. Excellent work, Tenno. It's like you also get your first mission, you get your first mission of the day, you get a bonus. They see R maxed out all my all my things for this for this loadout. Don't know why my internet was like that. Sometimes I just get that bug. So I'm currently in a squad. Squad settings are in, in your escape menu, which you can easily access all your things via shortcuts. So right here I'm just gonna leave the squad. Gonna leave the squad and I'm gonna hit Earth. Sorry for that short previous thing I just wanted to do the alert. I was hoping to get some action. So let's do Everest. Spin the world around. This is an exterminate mission, which is basically you just kill everything in there. Uh, that right there up in the corner, my friends, is Captain Boar. Know his name. He's one of the Grenier bosses. Which uh, usually at the end of each, and the uh, at the end of each planet is usually a boss. Which then by then you can unlock the next planet in that in that tree. In that tr in that plant, because originally the all the solar system was connected via trees. The, uh, each mission looks like it was like each mi all the missions look like they are connected by one big tree. But now they changed it. I can I get simple gameplay for you guys? Oh. Here you go. Pyro guy, 12. Okay. There is a large platoon of Grenier what am I doing up here? here. Leave no one standing. Okay, what's with my that line right in front of my face? I have no idea what that is. Apologies for the recording. Oh man, that explains it. I don't have a map. My map's glitched out. Please don't you won't see that line. Ugh. Lag. Because people are joining. I suck at aiming. Looks like the server's lagged. I suppose I barely I don't even have a crosshair. Might as well just go full on melee. Crap, I don't even know where to go. Don't worry, this game's not usually this buggy. It's just it's just me. The only real bug you would usually see is just either an exploit. Or you just you just get stuck. Open 
Tanner is just use your melee weapon. You either have you can do quick melee, which is you can melee anytime, no matter what weapons in your hand, or you just or you can hold F to do to to go on full on melee, which you, if you have a stance equipped, you can you allows you to do combos. Oh, if you remember what I told you about my Kubro, this is a Kubro den. These are all angry Kubros, angry wild Kubros. If you hold max button, you can use some of your energy to uh, to, bo bo to boost your damage. Well, your energies you should, should be re reserved for your for your powers. Like this guy here is doing it. He, what the heck just happened? <sighs> Why can't I get the good gameplay for you guys? Apologies for this. It's just some peep this game has a terrible host migration system. I don't know why I got logged out. Sorry about that guys. Hopefully I can get to a decent game. Let's try that again. I'm so sorry, guys. Do my best to add out some of the bad bits. Bounce. That's part of Boba. I, that's that's sort of a fun ability to have if you have a Boba in your team, which basically is a jump pad. It's really great. Even enemies can even enemies get affected by it. So it's funny to see like a see uh, like a heavy gunner get launched into the air by it. Okay. Sometimes you get spawned into the craziest locations. This here is the Earth palette. It's fully green and stuff. Of course, humans have left Earth and formed these three factions. The Grenier, the Corpus, and the Tenno. At least I think the Tenno are human. You see this game is very mo uh, with mobility in mind. Great, uh, greatly animated. And you can do anything while moving. That I think is either frost or we got frost on our team. Speed kill does you get some infinity, aka experience. Little challenges you do per mission. Looks like Kubro den. If you want a Kubro, break these dents to try to get an egg. But don't expect it to be easy. Those things are pretty damn rare. And you can also get Kubro mods from Kubros. Please note you can't stack up on Kubro on Kubro eggs. You can only have one per per, per, per crafting of a Kubro or breeding. You only have one Kubro egg at a time. You know, but you can't stack up if you buy them from the market. I think that I have a Frost and a Necros on my team. It's good to have Necros around since he can desecrate corpses, which makes him drop even more loot. Great for hunting mods. And then of course he fell. He fell down, which you just get warped. And I just did the exact same thing. What I was trying to do is a long jump, where you. I'm supposed to roll. It's like a long jump, but I fail at it, so I'm just gonna hop over here. That character would be the Lotus, kind of like the helpful AI for the Tenno. Kind of, she's also the leader. Not much known about her. I'm not sure if she's like an AI or an actual being. Oh crap. Ugh. Anyways, let's do a super jump. Of course, one color is late. Yep, I got an Necros. Uh, okay, that right there, my friend, is the Attica that guy's holding. 
He also has a different kind of Sedona than me. And I believe this is a Frost Prime, just with the default Frost Helmet. Yeah. This is Necros, and that there, I believe, is a mag. Another job well executed. Sorry for the crappy gameplay. Either I either get put to either I, either I get lose my connection, or the mission's already halfway through, already halfway done. You know, I think I'll start the mission on my own. Get you guys some real gameplay. See my friends, but my buddies are playing Ghost Recon. Looks like these guys are aiming for Kubro Kubro eggs. You know, I might as well help them out. Oh god, oh, what a way I had to get that damn egg. I don't know what they look like, it's just kept pick them up so flat fast. Apparently they add a new uh, a specific visual effect. Well, that's pretty much it. And this is how you start a mission. You see your buddy's ships go fly right into it. This is how you exit your ship. Of course, it shows the host first, so the person who's controlling the mag is hosting. But well, that's an epic entrance. Now it's time to uh, get some headshots. See, I was trying to do long jump earlier, and... This is Heavy Gunner. That's explosion. Looks like someone has a fear axe with crazy fury mods. You're still in the clear. No detection from enemy sensors. Yeah, of course, because the a grenier cannot alert in the earth pallet because there's no terminals to set off the alarms. The alar if the alarms are on, that means they that means the more heavy units will come in. Looks like we got two MK1 Bratons. I'm gonna hop. There's more. Uh, no, it's definitely not under here. This part of the pallet can get confusing. What I mean, pallet, is that each room is procedurally generated, so you don't get really similar maps. So you try to reduce the linearity of this game. Linearity? Is that even a word? I have no idea. Miss. Miss. And the enemies go flying if you peg him with an arrow. That might have triggered. I think I'll go. For, I was thinking I'll just pull my two pistols. Oh, this room. So hard to find enemies. Yes, this could be used as a, as a water slide. Oh, apparently they got them all. Here we go! So this is gener the general idea of it. People like to rush ahead, so expect that a lot. I recommend if you're going to start, if you're going to play a game, start the mission on your own, and have people have it to, to a public so people can just randomly join your game. Ooh, cool bros. Time to show off radial javelin. And that's a pack, you see? Kubra mod. These suckers are trying to get the egg. Nope, no way from that. 
At least, I don't know. Anyways, I think I'm gonna start my own mission. Leave, leave the squad and, you know, start my own squad. Anything after that? Oh, sure. After a good couple gameplays. A lot of people, people, random people join my squad. Shield flux. Hmm. Never seen that one before. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Leave. Oh. Leave squad. Rank up is basically allows you to get your uh, your uh, actual ranking. So it allows you to. Well, which. Blah. Okay. The ranking system works. Is that each time you get a rank, it allows you to. Uh, allows you to u uh, use certain weapons. Since certain weapons require a certain uh, affinity ranking. At least I'm call it. I hope I call it that. I'm currently, I would say, a silver novice, or some sort of novice, and each time you level up you have to do a test or else you you have to try to, level, to regain some experience back to do the test again. So I'm going to basic, I'll experience the 1, 2, and 3, which is basically primary, secondary, and melee. I don't know what the fourth one is. I won't do it right now. Okay. Let's see. Let's do, what's this? Let's do the interception missions. They're fun. Uh. They keep on switching from Ghost Recon to APP, or just none of those games connected to the servers. I'm in. This is one of the intercept missions. They can be very, they can be unique. This here is a kind of like control the power, kind of like a domination game mode where the enemies, where the grenier will try to control communications towers. I'm going to try to revive this guy. There we go. Revived him. I'm gonna leave that to Valkyr. Yep, that's Valkyr. These kind of missions you keep going on and on to get uh, to get more better rewards, but they get extremely harder. Like a boss. This tower is ours now. So they're up the that there is a Loki. One of the used to be starting frames, but they changed it at Loki out for Volt. Okay, this is one of the rare mini bosses. Well not so rare, sometimes they just they give enemies with a buff. Of course, being the person I am, I always go for revives. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I'm gonna need a revive. A fellow Excalibur with some armor on him. I always have to get bit booted into missions. The enemy have taken a tower. You 
must recapture it. Nah. One the game, one some, one of the many game types of Warframe. Good work today. Not only have we decoded the enemy transmissions, we have 